Hello, and welcome to another video of Methuklasan. In this video, I will show you how to test the normality of a data set using Jamovi. A test of normality is a statistical test used to determine whether a data set is well modeled by a normal distribution. A normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve that is symmetrical around the mean. Many statistical procedures, such as the t-test and ANOVA, assume the data are normally distributed. So, we often check this assumption before using the said tests. There are many different tests of normality, but some of the most common include Shapiro-Wilk test, Kolmogorov-Smirnov test, Anderson-Darling test, D'Agostino-Pearson test. In this demonstration, we will only discuss the most common of these four, the Shapiro-Wilk test. To interpret a test of normality, we look at the p-value. If the p-value is less than the significance level, usually 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis of normality and conclude that the data set is not normally distributed. If the p-value is greater than or equal to the significance level, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the data set may be normally distributed. Jamovi is a free and open source statistical software package designed to be easy to use and accessible to many users. You may check the Jamovi playlist on my channel for the installation tutorial. Just check the description below. In this demonstration, I will use the data set from the pre installed Jamovi library. To access the file, select the three bar icon on the upper left corner of the Jamovi window. Go to Open and choose the Tooth Growth file. The data view shows a continuous variable in the first column for which normality can be tested. It is grouped by VC and OJ, and by dose of 500, 1000, and 2000. To test the normality, go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Then, grab or transfer the column that you want to test in the Variables box. Click the Statistics drop-down panel and choose Shapiro-Wilk under the Normality option. You can unselect other measures that you won't need to avoid crowded values in the results. The descriptives table shows that the W statistic value is 0.967 and the P value is 0.109. Since the P value is greater than 5% or 0.05, then the data are normal. We can also compute the Shapiro-Wilk values per group. All you have to do is drag or transfer the grouping variable or column in the split by box. We can see from this table that the p-value for the OJ group is less than 5% or 0 0.05. So, the distribution for the data set in the OJ group is not normally distributed. On the other hand, the p-value for the VC group is greater than 5% or 0 0.05, which means that the data set under this group is approximately normally distributed. If you learn from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can also check the description below for the Jamovi playlist and other math content on my channel. See you in the next video.